So in this video, we're going to talk about making a sphere inside SketchUp. So it's actually a really simple process. Let's go ahead and delete this one. I'm going to click on it and hit delete, and I'm going to make one from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is make a circle, and you can just hit the letter C on your keyboard, and that's going to give you the circle tool. If you can't find it in the sidebar here, click on these three dots and find it right there, the circle tool. So on the ground, I'm going to click and drag. So I've only clicked once and I'm not holding it or anything. So I'm going to type in six apostrophe. So that's six feet. And if I hit enter, it's going to give me a circle that is six feet. That's the radius. Okay. So notice that the circle is not a perfect circle. It's not very smooth. It has all of these sides here. These are called segments. And the way that we change that is we click just on the outside edge. See how it highlighted it blue. I'm going to click away and show if you click on the face, it looks like this. We just want the edge here. We're going to click on it and go to entity info. So up here, you could change the radius. I'm going to type in nine feet and see it gets bigger. Just going to go back uh, six feet is fine. Now right here under segments, this is actually a 24 sided polygon. So um, the more segments we add here, the smoother this will appear and it will look more like a circle. Now we don't have to go overboard. I'm just going to type in 144. So that's 144 segments. Hit enter and notice it got smooth enough. It does look like a circle. Technically it's a 144 sided polygon. Um, theoretically you could type in more segments would give you an even smoother circle, but this is good enough. I don't think anyone can tell that that's not a perfect circle. So um, I'm going to click away here. And if you want to hide all these little things right here, you can just click that those go away. And so now what we need to do is we need to move a copy of this. And before we do that, let's select both the edge and the face. So if I were clicked away here, I could click on the edge and hold shift and click the face. Or I could draw a box from left to right, and that will select everything that touches the box. We've got the edge and the face selected. That's important here. And I'm going to hit M for the move tool. So this is the move tool. You can find it right here or just hit M on your keyboard. And if I were to click and move this right now, it would move the entire circle. So I'm going to go back. I'm hitting Command Z to go back. Control Z if you're on Windows. I'm on Mac. But we want to move a copy. Again, we're on the move tool. The way that we move a copy is we hit option if you're on Mac and notice it gave me this little plus sign here. If you're on Windows, you're going to hit control. If you're on Mac, you're going to hit option. And now when we move this, it's going to move a copy. So I'm going to click on the edge here and move this up and notice it's on the blue axis. Sometimes it wants to fall away from that. All you have to do is hit the up arrow key and it locks it on the blue axis. That's where we want it. We're moving it directly up. And because we have a radius of six feet, we're going to move this up six feet. So move your second circle up the height of your radius. So we've got a radius of six feet. That means we're going to move this up six feet. Okay. Now what I want to do is rotate this. I'm going to rotate this circle so that the edge lands right in the middle here. And that's why we made this six feet. So technically from the center of each circle to the edge is six feet. And if I rotate it on the center, it should land perfectly. So the way that I'm going to rotate it is I'm going to hit Q. That is the rotate tool. You can find it right here, or you just hit Q on your keyboard and you're going to find the center. Now, um, notice there's a blue protractor. We want to hit the left arrow key and we want the green protractor. And if you're having trouble finding the center, for some reason it's working out perfectly here, but I've had it give me problems. Just go to the edge and then it will sort of locate the circle. And for some reason, when you come back, it will actually find it this time. So it's that little light blue dot. I'm going to click on the center first, not on the edge, on the center first. This is important. And then click on the edge. So from the center to the edge, click again, and now we can move this. All we have to do is type in nine zero. So we're moving at 90 degrees, hit enter. And now the edge of that uh, second circle is touching the very center point on the first circle. And so now we're going to turn this into a sphere. The way that we're going to do that is, I don't know why this protractor won't go away. Sometimes the web version chokes up here, but uh, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and go to this uh, three button menu right here and click follow me. And so now we have the follow me tool. What we need to do, I'm going to hit space bar first, which is going to give me the selector tool. 
and I'm gonna click on the edge here. So just on the edge, not on this face, but only on the edge of the bottom circle, just like that. And then click the follow me tool. And then I'm gonna click here and drag away. And I just let go, give it a second. Okay, now it creates a sphere for me. I can hit E for the eraser tool or just click on it here and I can erase this bottom circle. And now we have a sphere. And if you wanna add color or some sort of texture to it, hit B. That's the bucket tool or paint bucket tool. And you can search here for all sorts of building materials. Um, you can get really creative with this. Just add anything you want to this circle. That is how you make a sphere. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what other uh, random SketchUp tutorials you wanna see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.